Hello, my name is Sasha Quince and I'm the founder of Let's Go Yoga in Abu Dhabi. And I would like to show you a few things that you can do with your kids, uh, yoga techniques, breathing, relaxation, and just give your kids an opportunity to experience some elements of yoga that can help calm them. So especially for hyperactive children, uh, these techniques are really useful. They can be used at bedtime, which can be a struggle for a lot of parents to calm the mind and come out of the very active day. And they can also be used at any time if your child is having a tantrum from ages two plus to preteen. So some of the ways that we feel uh, yoga can be helpful for children is to soothe their central nervous system, to calm and relax their body and mind, but also to get them out of the stresses of the physical, the physical activity in the day and the stresses that a lot of children experience, um, some older ones with increased homework as well as increased need to be active the whole day and to keep them going. So it's a nice way to bring them back and relax them and help them just soothe down. Kaim and I would like to show you how to do the good night dance. You ready? So you stand over here and I'll stand over here. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. Good night. Hold back down. Nice. Reach, reach, reach up and say good night. Breathe out. Next one, reach up. Good night. And fall back down. And bring your hands back down in front of your chest. Very nice, high five. Yay. Okay. Kaim and I are going to show you how to do the lullaby rock. Let's come to sit. Okay, can you face me and we'll extend the legs out. Now, it can be uh, somewhat difficult for some children to sit with straight legs, so you can always bend the knees. So, Kaim, if you feel you need to bend the knees, you bend them, okay? But let's make our spine nice and tall. Yep. And then take my arms, and you're going to hold your child so you have a good connection there. Take a deep breath in. You can choose your favorite lullaby. We're going to do ours. And the marks get set, go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Life is but a If you see a crocodile, don't forget to breathe. Let's breathe. Again. Now he's going to fold forward a little bit. So you come, let's close your boat. Is that okay? And stretch and breathe. Now you can pull mommy's boat forward. Keep your spine long. The next practice we'd like to show you we call a double ice cream scoop. So you're curling up like a seed, also known as child's pose or sea turtle pose. And it's a really great practice that you can do together to have some bonding, okay? So let's, you step off, Kaya, and I'm going to come into this ice cream. What's your flavor? What flavor? Vanilla. Okay, I'm going to be chocolate, okay? So chocolate scoop comes down. And you come behind me. Mm-hmm. Get on center. You got it. Relax. Very nice. Mmm. Breathe. You're breathing. Now it's important to hold your child at the arms and to make sure that they feel secure and that they're in the center of your back. They are not on your lower back. Okay, I'm starting to step up. Step one leg off and the other leg up. And only once they're off, then you can roll up and out of the pose. Okay? Another way to do this is you come into seat pose, come into your sea turtle pose. Mm -hmm. Can you scooch this way? There you go. So he's curled up like a ball and a nice little practice, we're going to do pitter patter rain. This is nice and calming for them. And it can also be a little uh, fun for them. Another thing that Kaim really enjoys is to crack an egg on his head. So we crack, and the egg comes all the way down. So this is back-to-back -back breathing. Back-to-back -back breathing is really nice to relax the body, to increase breath capacity, and to encourage a nice connection between parent and child. You'll come to sit back-to-back. -back. It's important that the lower part of your back and your child's back touch each other so you can feel the connection there. You can encourage your child to sit up nice and tall and keep their head gently lifted. So Kaim, head gently lifted. And you can hold on to their hands or their arms too as well as I'm going to do. So let's take a deep breath in through our nose together. And a deep breath out through our nose. And then deep breath in. 
and out. And we'll do two more times. Breathe in and out. The last one. And now for the next one, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to stay here. We're going to close your eyes, Kaim. Take a deep breath in. And just breathe naturally and imagine that you are floating on a cloud. So a cloud came to pick us up off the ground. It's going all the way up into the air and taking us up towards the stars and the moon. And it feels really safe and nice up here and we feel relaxed. And we breathe as we float across Abu Dhabi, looking at everything below us. We breathe normally, in through the nose, out through the nose. And then we let the cloud bring us back down all the way to the ground, to our space. We take a deep breath in and we open our eyes. The next, the next is belly breathing. This one is extremely useful for soothing the central nervous system, for allowing a hyperactive child to simmer down and for using the entire diaphragm to breathe, bringing more oxygen into the child system. Now it's important that the, the adult demonstrates it first so that the child can see how the abdomen gently lifts and releases. So the adult can come to lay on the back. Time, would you put um, your little, and you can use a furry friend. We're going to use one of his favorites. You can use a small furry friend. So I'm gonna to come to lay down. I'm gonna put the furry friend on my lower belly. And you're gonna ask your child to watch how your belly lifts up and the furry friend comes up. So you're gonna watch my tummy, okay? Breathe into the lower belly and exhale, release. Inhale, breathe into the lower belly and exhale, release. And you can remove him if you want. One more time. It's so a lower belly expanding like a growing balloon and empty. Okay, now it's his turn. So you're gonna come lay on your back. Come to lie on your back in the middle of the mat. There you go. Okay, so we're going to put furry friend on the belly, relax the arms. Just breathe naturally into your belly, breathe in and out. Very nice, breathe in, oh look, he's moving, and out. Breathe in and out, and again, very nice. And you can repeat that one to, maybe one to eight times, depending on if they're enjoying it, but think about the belly expanding on the inhale and deflating on the exhale like a growing balloon and then the balloon deflates. Very nice, just relax, normal. Uh, some children can find this hard to do so you might need to practice a little bit more and you want to encourage them to breathe into the belly and expand it like a growing balloon and then to relax and deflate it and to take the breath away from the chest which we're so used to doing. Bring it into the belly, will soothe the digestive system and also help us have a nicer sleep. Okay, our next one, we're going to put the furry friend away, is the spaghetti relaxation. So relax the body. This one you do for your child. You can lie down on a surface that is comfortable. And we're gonna relax the body with a gentle massage here. And you just wanna have a soft touch for your child, so nothing too, too firm. So let's start with the feet here, yeah? Just gonna give a gentle hook to the ankles. Bring the legs up, relax, ask your child to relax your body. So kind of relax your body, make it heavy. You're gonna pretend you're a spaghetti noodle. So you're nice and light, okay? And then we're gonna move you. So relax your feet. I'm gonna bring this up and just swing the legs side to side. You wanna feel the heaviness of your child's body there. They're completely relaxed into your arms. Then you bring them down and you just give a gentle rub to the lower legs here. Try not to touch the knees, go above the knees to the thighs. And then you'll move on to the arms. You can take the arms just by the wrists and get really heavy like a spaghetti noodle relax. So you don't do the movement, you let me do it. Yes. And lower and then you can rub at the lower arms to the shoulders, the chest and just gently rub on the belly in a clockwise direction. And then to the head. Now behind the ears is a good one. It's got lots of great nerve endings there. To to soothe them in the face. And you can just do a little nice, gentle relaxation across the face. And then we will roll onto our tummy. So roll onto your tummy. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna relax the back of the body. Get nice and heavy. Nice. And just 
You can start with the back of the body, give a lower back rub, and all the way down the legs into the feet. So very gentle pressure. And then you can repeat a mantra here, which is really nice before uh, bedtime to help calm them down. So just placing your hands on their back and say, Kayam is relaxing, Kayam is calm, Kayam is at peace. Kayam is relaxing, Kayam is calm, Kayam is at peace. Using your child's name. And when we're done, we'll just ask your child to, you can even go straight to sleep from here if you like, otherwise you can come up to sit if you'd like. And that is the spaghetti relaxation. So that's, how do you feel after that one? Good. Yeah? You feel like you're ready to, to go take a rest? No? Okay. So that's a nice one to do before bed or just uh, for a gentle touch. So we have to understand that children also have stresses and worries and anxiety in their lives in this day and age. And these are really nice practices to help them calm down and to soothe hyperactive children, to create a connection with parents and child, and to just have fun with them and make it light and playful. And I would definitely recommend setting an environment for this type of activity so that it's quiet, you can dim the lights, you can play some soothing music, but try to be away from um, any television or a lot of activity or adult stuff. So we'll thank everyone for joining us. You can bring your hands to the space of your heart. What we say in yoga, so the light in you honors the light in me. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.